boy. Hey, Oops. turn, hey, sit. Good boy, Omar. Shake it. Good boy. It's a good dog. All right, uh, I gotta head to the shop. Microphone might sound like shit because there's no battery in the external mic. I gotta find a battery. But yeah, gonna run by the shop real quick and then a day of just kind of hanging out and getting prepared for the week. About to set up this tattoo email. And yeah, that's it. So let's head to the shop. No! Why is it always the olive green? Stop. Not for you, look at this. Fucking dog. Hey, stop. Jesus. Totally tore the knit right there. What a jerk. Yeah, let's not talk about this room yet. Someone's coming to fix it, I promise. I gotta go to the shop. Can you calm down and take a nap or something? Hey, take a nap or something while I'm gone? Huh? Huh? Sit. No, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Go to your crate. Huh? Go to your crate. Omar security. Whoop. See you in a little bit. Yeah. All different. Yeah. What's up? At the end of the day? Nice. Days. Well, yeah, it takes a couple days. Yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a two prong, pro three prong project, basically. God, God damn, this fucking awesome. Oh, it looks good. The stairwell? Oh, shit. Fucking <laughs> party time in the back. Somebody want a trophy? I got cake still. Oh, okay. This week. Yeah, he did. What? Why? Oh, we gotta fix this. Alright, home from the shop. The shop is crazy. Uh, the party looks like it went really well. Apparently there was a sushi bar. If you came out to the party at the shop, awesome. Really looking forward to everything getting finished, which it's almost done. You saw they're putting the brick in and the shop's gonna be sick. We hired a bunch of our friends, a new artist. Uh, it's sick. It's gonna be awesome. If you're in Denver, Colorado area, because we're in Littleton, come check it out. As far as getting tattooed by me, I am officially taking appointments as of today the email whoa, the email will be on my Twitter and my Instagram and also in the link in the description down below so if you are in Colorado or coming to Colorado and you want to get on my books um, you can try to do so I got a lot of clients to kind of like sift through but feel free to hit me up and we'll try to get you squeezed in um, what else is going on today so lately you know, I've been eating not that great. So today, I went and stopped and got the olive oil. If you're an OG subscriber, you know all about the Ebu Marketplace olive oil. Let's take a look at what we caught. This is how we eat well and don't hate life. We got that balsamic, that 18 year aged, traditional balsamic to be exact. Some Tuscan herb, olive oil. We will pair with the Sicilian lemon vinegar. Always got to double up on the Tuscan herb. So this will make salads amazing. You will want to eat your salad. And if you have one of these plates, I'm sure you can order online. But this shit makes a huge difference. Hopefully that's in focus. It's not. Jeez. That's the website right there. Uh, there's also other companies, I'm sure. But yeah, that'll help you, for real. Um, but yeah, I've had a lot of trouble lately. Outside, Omar. Omar, chilling. Go use your potty. Go use your new grass. I've been having a lot of trouble with the light. I've been having a lot of trouble with food deliveries. So last night, I ordered Postmates, and the guy just never showed up. Like, he just, he just never showed up. I got charged, but he just didn't show up. He picked the pizza up. Yeah, I ordered pizza. Uh, but he just, he didn't come through. So, I feel like it's a sign that I need to start eating better again um, and get back on it. I'm going to start eating some salads. Pretty strictly salads. Or at least, you know, strictly good stuff from the earth. So what we're gonna do, 
and I don't really have time to go to the store right now. I got some, so I'm gonna see if I can order my groceries online, have them delivered, because that is gonna be clutch, and I don't have to go out in this crazy 95 degree heat, even though it's not as hot as it was in Dallas. So that shit was hot. Too hot for me. I am going to order groceries now. Oh, and we got a box. Forgot. Hold on. To Teddy and Omar. Hey, there's the address if you want to send me something. You don't ever have to ask me if it's okay. You can send me whatever you want. People send me fucking gummy dicks for God's sake. Send me whatever you want, but you're not gonna trick me. If you do trick me, I'm gonna stab you. Let's see what's in this box. What do we get? Oh, nice. Puppy pads, training pads for old Omar. Another tug toy. Oh dang, old smokehouse bone. He's gonna love you for that. That's for Lars Hamilton. That's you're the man. Much appreciated. And then I guess these are for me. Some Adidas hats. We'll try these out. See what's up. Cool. Thanks, Lars. What's up? <laughs> Hello, so what we're gonna do is first move the camera so that we're not shooting into the light. I'm gonna do this new thing because I get a lot of questions. A lot of questions every day. Matter of fact, if I don't answer your tweet or your DM, DMs are fucked. Do you get a DM answer? It's only because I saw it. DMs are in shambles constantly. Um, but one question I always get is if I'm wearing a shoe and it's not in the vlog, like I don't talk about it in the vlog, uh, even though I've talked about it before, people have a hundred questions about it. So today, the real quick 30 second recap of the shoe I'm wearing. This is the Y3 ZG Knit in the white and black colorway. It is not true to size. The biggest size that it goes to is 12 and a half. I could honestly probably wear 12, but 12 and a half is fine. Shoe is dope as fuck. Prime knit upper, super stretchy. Prime knit, the best prime knit. Leather tongue, leather on the heel. I think I spilt a dab on the laces. Leather, 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 leather. Boost, pure boost. Soul, so it's not continental, it's completely different. For all you people who keep asking me why I don't have any pure boost, I know it's not a regular pure boost, but it's still a pure boost. No insole, so keep that in mind when you're sizing down, but they're super sick, resale is ridiculous. I would expect to pay anywhere between six and $1,200. Boom, boom, boom. Let's see about these groceries. By the way, I look like a fucking midget sitting at this table because I had to move this chair while I edit, because when I try to edit on this, Omar will not leave me alone. Omar just wants to sit here in my lap while I edit, and I can't do it. I can't balance a dog and a bouncy ball and my big ass self. So, we had to move this chair in. This is what I need. Whoa, that banana is so green. Look at this banana. Look how green that thing is. That is the greenest banana I've ever seen. See? Trying to order groceries and look who wants to hang out. I know. I know, buddy. I don't know. We're grocery shopping right now, fam. Such a little jerk. You're such a little jerk. You're such a jerk. You know I'm making fun of you, huh? Groceries are ordered. Hey, how's it going? Oh, uh, you just crawl on the floor right there. That's a crazy little puppy that we won't buy. Cool, man. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate it. Groceries. We didn't even have to leave when we got groceries. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. This is what we got. If you want to know what came from the grocery store, it's all this stuff right here. Oh, that was clutch. Whole Foods delivery to the house. I'm into it. Super into it. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right. So today has been 
fairly domestic. I haven't really been able to leave the house other than to go to the shop for a minute. So much stuff to do. So what we're going to do though, is we're gonna talk about shoes that are coming out because we haven't done that in a while. My mentions are what do you think about this and what do you think about that? A lot of them are shoes that I've already reviewed though. And if you get mad at me for not answering your question about a shoe I've already reviewed on a vlog, you fucked up in the game because all you gotta do is watch the vlog. I, you know, I can't really, I don't, I don't have endless time. So anyway, uh, shoes that are coming out soon, what I'm gonna cop, what I'm not gonna cop. Let's just get started. There are seven White Mountaineering models dropping on Saturday, Saturday the 15th. Um, there are two R1 trails, two R2s, and three Stan Smiths. All have boost. Obviously, the R2s and R1s have boost, but the stands also have boost as well. The colorways are olive green and black. Some of them are flipped, more white, more black, yada, 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 mostly olive green and the greens. These are okay, like, out of all the white mountaineering collabs, these are probably one of my least favorite. Um, I don't know that I'll be copying any of these, but they are releasing. It's not that I have a problem with them or anything, I don't like them. I'm just kind of passing on them for now. The next thing that we're talking about is that's been leaked is the CS2 United Arrows and Sons collab. I really like this shoe. It's kind of got that harvest pattern going on with it. It's a new thing that Adidas have done. And I haven't really been feeling the harvest pattern in the other shoes, but I do like the CS2. Some people will call me a hype beast because it's a collab. Sure, I like collabs better. That shoe actually looks good to me. I like it, fuck with it, so I'll definitely cop that one. Uh, there's a triple black NMD R1 that is rumored to finally be dropping in August. Um, if you remember the NMD R1 Japan pack or city pack as people call it, uh, it was supposed to come with Black Boost originally and even the sticker on the box has Black Boost on it, but it did not come with Black Boost unless you're JC and you got like one of the samples. But um, supposedly August that's actually going to happen and we're going to get a white Japan monochrome shoe as well. And that's supposed to be part of the same pack. But um, that's rumored around August. If they're definitely dropping another triple black NMD R1, I will cop it for sure, without a doubt. And also the triple white, just to have another pair. Uh, July 13th is the NMD Harvest Red CS2. I really like the way this looks. Again, with the harvest pattern, not super crazy about it at first glance and I even felt uh, the new R1. Was it R1? Maybe it was R2, I can't remember, but I felt I felt the material at SneakerCon and it definitely feels a little more coarse, if that makes sense. It doesn't feel as stretchy, but I didn't try them on, I didn't wear them. It's not anything that I was really like feeling, but I do like the Harvest Red. I think that shoe looks good. So I'll probably cop it, most likely, but it's not, I'm not going crazy over it or anything. The motherfucking Red Apple 2.0. All right, so of course, everybody and their mother, let me get this out of here. Uh, everybody and their mother has been asking me what I think about it, and I think it's kind of whack in a sense. I don't, I'd rather them just re release the same damn shoe if they're gonna do that. I'd, I'd rather them not make another version of it personally. The one saving grace that it might have is that it may be the reds may be different from some of the photos, they don't look exactly the same. I'm gonna cop the shoe because I like the shoe, obviously, but I do think it's kind of weird that Adidas made another shoe just like one they already made. That that to me is a little strange. I don't really know the point of it. It's not the it's not that other people will have a shoe that looks similar to mine or anything. I just kind of I don't know. It's just it just rubs me the wrong way when they release stuff that looks super, super similar. Um for really no reason, you know. I don't know. But at the same time they release a bunch of triple blacks and I don't care about that. So maybe there's like some inner hype shit inside of me that's not wanting other people to have that shoe. But they're not releasing the same shoe. So it's just confusing to me. But yes, the Red Apple 2.0, I will definitely cop for sure. Especially just to see if they compare to each other at all. You know, because for some reason on that photo, the 2.0 just looks darker. Well, I don't know. And there's no date on that shoe yet. It's just pictures have leaked. There's the run through time pack, which is July 18th, July 19th. I can't really remember for sure. And I don't know that's actually been confirmed by Adidas yet, but that pack's super sick. You got the mid, the mid ultra boost, which I already had the sample of. So obviously it's the most cop for me. I'll definitely get a retail pair as well. Uh, there's also an energy boost coming with it and some other stuff. Um, I'm probably gonna cop everything from that whole pack. I think the run through time pack is pretty sick. So yeah, that's, that's one that I've been looking forward to for sure. I do really like the ultra boost mids. I really, really like them. What has recently dropped, July 8th, they did the EQT glitch pack. So a lot of people have been asking me like if I copped anything from that glitch pack, it's like a pink, pink pair and a gray pair or black, 
black, black and white pair, I can't remember. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, black and white and pink. Uh, I did not. I actually think that both of those uppers are kind of atrocious. I'm not really into the way that shoe looks. It's kind of a shame to me because I really do like EQTs, but for some reason, the pink just drives me crazy and the black and white just sort of looks cheapish to me. So there's also a black pair that released today that I tried to check out. It released on Urban Outfitters and I just kind of like drug my feet with it because I didn't think they were going to sell out and then by the time I got there they were gone. Um, but yeah, the EQT line, some of them, I'm waiting for the triple black one honestly. I think that'll be huge. There's still other stuff like the milled leather pack really never dropped in the United States over a size 13. So random things like that that Adidas have done are super strange to me. But it is what it is. But the glitch pack I'm passing on, the new pair of the black and white, I'll probably cop if it shows up again in my radar. Uh, the Mystery Ink Ultra Boost. This is a weird one. So I tried to cop it from the UK because it dropped all over the United Kingdom and other countries. And that was on July 1st. I haven't seen it drop in the United States yet. I have no idea what's going on. And then the order that I made to the UK, they're actually still sitting on the website and I keep trying to order them and they just won't let me order them. So I haven't copied them yet. I really, really want the mystery inks, but I just can't, I can't find them stateside. So I have no idea what's going on with that. I wish I had more information, but I think that's a super, one of the nicer colorways we've gotten of a 3.0. So I don't know why it hasn't dropped here yet. So hopefully soon, maybe I'll put out the vibe and it'll just drop tomorrow or something. Cause that'd be great. So I doubt it'll drop tomorrow, but hopefully soon. Okay. Boost slides. Holy shit. So I do, this hasn't been confirmed by Adidas. But there are definitely photos of the boost slides circulating the internet. One looks like a neighborhood collab. The other one looks like just a regular Adidas originals release. Um, again, not confirmed by Adidas and somehow I got credit for a photo that I just I just screenshotted Ice Fire's photo and re replied to a tweet and then it just kind of got taken and tweeted all over the internet. So I don't know that they're actually real or coming. I, I assume, I'm going to assume so. I, I'm pretty, pretty 100% positive that it's gonna happen, but um, I'll say 99% positive because 100 wouldn't mean I would know. So I'm 99% positive that's gonna happen, but I'm 100% not that excited. Um, if you've never put on cloud flow, if you've never put on cloud foam slide, then you're missing out one. I think that boost upper has more to do with the way boost feels than anything. So like you have your boost and then whatever upper it is married to is why boost is so great. So I really don't think a boost slide gonna feel that amazing. I honestly feel like it's gonna be slippery and I'm kind of confused if it's black all the way through. One, why we haven't gotten <laughs> black all the way through before. And two, is it gonna rub off on your feet in slides, like sweating, like direct skin to boost paint might be weird. I don't know. These are just theories. It has a trail kind of bottom on it from the photos, which looks promising because that'll help make it a little more sturdy. But um, I really don't know. I don't know if it's gonna release. I don't know when it's gonna release. I'm gonna assume that it's gonna release with the neighborhood collab. It looks sick, that's an Aniki. And there's also been some photos of, not an Ultra Boost. No, there's been a photos of an Ultra, there's been photos of all kinds of stuff, but there's no information on it yet, so I don't know. But as far as the Boost slide goes, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely gonna cop. Let's not get it fucking twisted. Like, I'm gonna cop them for sure. But it's not something that I'm like, holy shit, oh my God, these are gonna change everything. Cause I really, I don't know. I don't really think that, well, again, I don't think, I think Boost without an upper, it, without the proper upper is uh, less effective. The Nemesis Tango triple black dropped on July 6th, I believe it was. I copped those, they're on the way. They should be here any day soon. Uh, so hopefully we'll get to take a look at those soon. August 1st is the new Laceless Ultra Boost. A lot of people don't like this shoe from the sample photos they've seen. Like I heard a lot of people talk shit about them. I really like this shoe. Uh, I don't like all the colorways, definitely, but I like the possibilities that we see in the shoe. And I'll probably cop one of the first initial colorways just to check it out. But um, I like the shoe just fine. I like the, the new laceless system. The only thing I really don't like is the sort of band-aid looking tab that's on the front of the tongue, but it's not a deal breaker for me. So laceless is supposed to drop, I think August 1st. Um, there's a new gray and silver ultra boost that's coming down the line. I think that's August 30th. Uh, silver is more of the upper, I feel like, and gray is more of the boost. It looks like instead of of a silver boost, it's kind of a dark gray boost. I like the way this shoe looks. There's a whole slew of Ultra Boost coming in crazy colors in 3.0. I mean, they really, really are cranking out 3.0s. There's no denying it at this point. 
1.0 was, you know, what, maybe 20, maybe 20, 30 pairs. Uh, 2.0, maybe 40, 50 pairs. 3.0 is, is full tilt. So it's gonna be really interesting to see what they do and also see what they do with 4.0 and to just see um, how far they try to take this. Uh, I think the next few months to a year are really going to show us a lot <laughs> so we'll see and hopefully um hopefully it's colorways that people like there's a lot of colorways that i really do like but it is getting a little crazy i will admit that there's a lot of ultra boosts and it's really impossible to keep up and you've definitely got to pick and choose which ones you really like which is fine too like not you know that's a could be a, a game changing thing and have because some of them are still not available it's just like this mystery ink it's a GR, but you can't fucking find it anywhere. So it's interesting to me. It's, um, yeah, I'm just looking forward to seeing what happens. But there's a lot of colorways. There's some new black and white colorways. There's this, like, there's this crazy royal purple colorway. There's just, there's a maroon ultra. There's all kinds of fucking colors coming. And basically a color for every mood. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what happens. And then there's the uh, last thing I'm gonna talk about is the Ultra Boost Mid. So the new, there's the Mid, like the Ronnie's, the Run Through Times, things like that. But then there's this new version of the Ultra Boost Mid that I do really like. I like some of the colorways they're coming out with. The only thing that kind of bothers me about the shoe, which I mentioned before, is the way that the tongue comes up onto the shoe. I don't know why they did away with the sock collar just kind of strange but uh at the same time i don't design the shoes so whatever i'm still looking forward to it i'm looking forward to trying it on putting it on and wearing it uh, but then if i had to nitpick something and design the tongue does kind of throw me off it kind of looks like two different shoes stitched together but at the same time i do like it and the black and white colorway for that shit is super sick like super super sick but yeah that's all that i got right now i mean i know there's new yeezys that are supposedly coming like three different colorways but you know yeezys get talked about too fucking much you guys all know i'm sure you guys have all seen all the Yeezy photos. Everyone who's got a fucking internet presence or wants one just talks about Yeezys. Three different colorways, the yellow, the white and blue, and then the Beluga 2.0, or the second version of the Beluga that's darker, like whatever. So we'll see if that happens. I don't really know for sure. Like with the olives, we or the dark greens, it got canceled, it didn't, it, you know, shit's always crazy. A lot of shit on the internet is just people talking, so. That's just what it is. I don't know yet for some stuff, but these are the things that I th have come to mind. And really on that list, some of it is must cop, but most of it is kind of like, you know, not everything is like tickling me these days. So uh, we'll see, we'll see what happens. And that's your update on Boost. See you tomorrow.